my family, Prince Harry Meghan, don't speak with carnival or so-called experts who lie about them, who smear them, who mock them. Harry and Meghan don't engage or feed stories to carnival or so-called experts who lie about them. My family, I'll explain. A carnival or so-called expert called Ranika was briefed a story by the palace a couple of days ago. Whereby she said, Prince Harry Meghan will be excluded from the Duke of Westminster wedding because of the royal rift. And my family, she said, it is a real blow to Harry Meghan. And Ross said that Hugh Rosvena is also Prince Archie's godfather. That's what basically Ranika said three days ago. And then my family, in her column, she said, sources close to Harry Meghan have said this, have spoken to her, have said this to her, which are all lies. Harry and Meghan don't speak to Ranika. They do not. My family, and what I have come to notice is that these individuals who Harry and Meghan don't speak to are saying and lying that they have gotten the information from Harry and Meghan, which is a lie. That sources close to Harry and Meghan speak to them, have briefed them on this, have issued this statement when they know fully well that Harry and Meghan don't speak to them. And that is what I am going to expose today in this video. The lies coming from the carnival of so-called experts like Ranika. But, first of all, let me tell you about what just happened. My family, page six, has a so-called exclusive that has been picked up by different tablets in the UK. Whereby they also claim to have been briefed by sources close to Harry and Meghan. And my family, there is no way, no way that Harry and Meghan speak or engage with the Madoc owned publication, like page six. My family, here is what they said. And I quote. The Prince Harry declined to attend what they call his posh pal, the Duke of Westminster, wedding to avoid an awkward clash with his brother, Prince William, and other family members amid the boiling family feud. Prince Harry did get a, in quotes, save the date card to the wedding next summer. But then Harry called the Duke, Hugh Rosvena, personally to say that it would be best if he and his wife Megan did not come. And that it would have been the first meeting between Meghan and Kim Wilton ever since the funeral of the late Queen Elizabeth II if Harry and Meghan were coming, but they're not. And also, my family, don't forget, Kim Wilton has been exposed as the senior member of the royal family who had concerns about Archie's skin tone. Kate has been exposed. For my family, all these reasons that I'll be given as to why Harry and Meghan aren't coming to the UK, 
my family are all a bunch of lies. My family, please kindly hear even the main reason as to why Harry Meghan aren't coming to the UK. First of all, because it is not safe. And there is no way that Prince Harry brings Meghan, Archie, Lilibet to a place that he knows is unsafe. To a place that my family, he knows he won't receive adequate protection to keep Meghan, Archie, and Lilibet safe. There's no way that Prince Harry can ever, ever put Meghan or Archie, Lilibet, in a place he knows, take them to a place he knows is unsafe for them. No way. My family, no way. And my family, right now, all of us know, Harry is in court fighting to ensure that my family, whenever he comes to the UK, he is protected. He has adequate police protection. Harry is fighting to ensure that. And my family, clearly, basically, that's the main reason as to why he and Meghan won't come to the Duke of Westminster's wedding. Clearly, that is the main reason. And all this stuff. Oh, you know what? Prince Harry called. The Duke told him, you know what? I'm sorry, we can't come. You know what? Maybe that happened. Or maybe it did not. But one thing is clear. There's no way that Prince Harry takes Meghan or Archie or Lilibet to a place even earlier this year. He said is unsafe for Meghan, Archie, a little bit. Especially if we can't get any kind of security guarantees. There's no my family. Because Harry is a man, a father, a husband who loves his wife and kids. Who's done everything he has done to keep his wife Meghan and children safe. That is what Prince Harry and Meghan have done and continue to do, protect even their kids. So my family, basically, there is no way that Meghan or Harry with their kids go to the UK for this guy's wedding my family. There is no way. There is no way. There is no way at all that that even happens my family no way so my family basically however you are having UK media that are so so abusive towards Prince Harry and Meghan try to portray that Harry and Meghan have been snubbed I mean Good Morning Britain did an entire segment in the morning to discuss my family, this story. To claim that Harry Meghan had been snubbed by the Duke of Westminster. People who live in California. People who live in Montecito with their kids. My family, and even, I want you to hear this, my family. I want you to be able to hear this, my family. And just kindly, please just, you know, look at this, what is being said. My family. Because my family, it is so, so embarrassing to see what is called a media, <laughs> in my family, media really, in the UK or news in the UK, whereby we're discussing whether two people have been invited to a wedding or not, people who don't live in the UK anymore, my family, people who don't live in the UK anymore, people who live in America. And my family, clearly, from what I can see, really, is that UK media want to portray this illusion 
that Harry Meghan had been snubbed. That nobody wants to be around Harry Meghan. That nobody wants to associate with Harry Meghan. That is the illusion that Turkey media want to create. And my family, those are all lies. That's all a bunch of lies my family. But clearly, hear yourself. Because that is what my family, they want to do. That is what they want. That's the end goal, really, of this mere campaign. My family is to destroy Harry and Meghan's marriage and also Harry and Meghan's reputation. Such that nobody wants to associate with Harry and Meghan. Nobody wants to be seen around Harry and Meghan. I mean, for example, look at Prince Andrew. No one wants to be seen with Andrew. No one wants to be associated with Prince Andrew because my family, he is destroyed. King Charles Spare, the second born son of the late Prince Philip and the late Queen Elizabeth is destroyed. And now that he has been destroyed, we have seen the royal family trying to rehabilitate his image after he has been destroyed. After nobody wants to be seen anywhere near him or anywhere around him. That's when the royal family, William, Charles, are trying to rehabilitate Prince Andrew's image after he has been destroyed. Similarly, my family, all this propaganda, these stories created my family, these stories that have been created in my family, are created to spread this narrative that nobody wants to be seen next to Harry and Meghan. Nobody. Nobody influential. Nobody powerful. No, no person who is, you know, having so much wealth, money, power, and so much, you know, a top official, for example. Nobody wants to be around Harry and Meghan. That is the propaganda. The firm and the community are trying to sell, are trying to spread. Which my family is not true. Which my family is not true. It isn't true. It's a lie. First of all, my family, please kindly hear this. What was said on Good Morning, my family, Britain. Please kindly, my family, hear this. What they want so badly. If you're going to be able to invite the king to your wedding, you're going to choose him above his son, who has chosen mm. to exile himself from the royal family. And like I say, it's unfortunately for My family, let me pause there. This is the guy, this is the guy who said when Archie is of age, when Archie is of age, UK media are going to have so much fun. This is the guy. This is the guy. His name is Duncan Lancombe. This is the guy. Don't forget his face. And my family, he is going to TV to say that Harry has chosen to exile himself. One thing that Harry chose is to protect his family. And he has been vocal in saying that. Even when he was back in the UK, he said, now that I have a family to protect, I'll protect my family. You know? That's what Harry said. And told him even before, he had made a step back as senior members of the royal family. He told them, now that I have a family to protect, I'll protect my family. I'll always protect my family. And his family is now Megan, Archie, Lilibet. My family, the one they want to exile from Harry's life has always been Megan. Never, never, ever did they expect the Prince Harry would choose Meghan and his son over the farm, 
over basically the immediate even my family because also they always appear to feel like they have some kind of level of entitlement over Prince Harry's life. I mean, they feel like they have ownership over him. So my family, when Harry chose Meghan and his son, these are the individuals who are better. People who already, even when Archie could even talk, already were plotting against Harry Meghan's son. Already were planning to use him as the scapegoat of William's kids. People like Duncan Lanco, my family. Kindly continue hearing this, please, my family. You know? It's unfortunately for Harry, you read what you say. Isn't the truth a fear that, you know, even people who were champions for a really good reason of Harry and Meghan and all the things they were trying to do and the change they were bringing in, I mean, even their supporters now are sort of waning, aren't they? Because let's be honest, they've kind of blown it. I don't know that they have. I think... My family, did you hear that? I wanted you to be able to hear that. Exactly what was said by him. By a host, a presenter at Good Morning Britain. They are towing the palace agenda. They are following the palace line. Whereby, my family, this is a story really created and basically, you know, passed on to the media by the royal family to distract from the naming of Kate and Charles as the senior members of the royal family who had concerns about Archie's skin color. My family, the farm, looked for anything and clearly also are still looking for anything that is going to deflect from basically Charles and Kimilton being exposed as the senior members of the royal family who are racist towards Harry Meghan's child. So my family, basically, don't forget the purpose of the smear campaign. When you hear this stuff, when you hear a presenter spread lies about Harry Meghan on TV, don't forget the purpose of these lies. The purpose of this smear campaign. It's always been meant to put Harry Meghan down to build William and Kate up. My family. And also to destroy Harry Meghan's union. Whereby all spares have been Divorced. Margaret, Andrew, also, they wanted that to happen to Harry and still want that to happen to him, my family, hoping that Harry is going to come back. I mean, my family, the level of desperation we keep seeing from carnival of so called experts who keep whinging, mourning, oh, Harry left, oh, Harry left, oh, he's in a self exile, oh, he exiled himself. They are desperate. They are so desperate. To have Harry back. And also desperate to punish Harry. Because he chose. And he chose Meghan. And his son Archie. And also his daughter Lilibet. They also want to punish him. For marrying a woman of color. My family. And they are trying. To spread this agenda. That nobody. Wants to be around Harry Meghan. Nobody. Which isn't true. My family, at the Invictus Games, we saw defense officials, for example, from different corners of the globe sitting right next to Harry. My family, even before the end, my family, of the Invictus Games, the defense, the veteran minister, of South Korea, my family, in South Korea, said his country would love to host the In Victors Games. Today, I can reveal that the National Hockey League, my family, I can reveal to all of you today that the National Hockey League 
while promoting a game today. <laughs> My family, they used a picture, a clip of Megan when she was at the previous Canucks versus San Jose Sharks hockey game. They used my family a clip of Meghan Markle. That is what my family, they did. Which also I want you to be able to see with your own two eyes. So you know my family that I am being very, very, you know, serious. From look at that. Wait for it. There. <laughs> the National Hockey League posted, you know, a clip of Megan being there. So my family, if the smear campaign was a success, I can tell you, the National Hockey League, you know, social media account, will never, ever post a clip of Megan watching a hockey game. My family, they will not. Because this new campaign has been a success. But because, my family, people don't believe the lies being spread by the hockey media and the farm targeting Harry Megan. Because people believe Harry Megan, my family, you can see, the National Hockey League X account can post a clip of Megan who was at a game, a hockey game between the Canucks and the San Jose Sharks. And they're using a clip of Megan from that game. The senior campaign has been a failure. So my family, in the UK, when hosts are like supporters of Harry Megan want to distance themselves from Harry Megan, the National Hockey League that has a huge following is posting a clip of Megan basically at a hockey game, watching a hockey game. Megan, Megan, my family, they're using a clip of Megan Markle. The woman who you can media have been trying so hard to destroy for a long time is the clip that my family they're using. You know, to advertise their game, my family. To advertise their games, to promote their games, my family. The clip they're using is a clip of Meghan Markle watching a hockey game. <laughs> my family, that makes me extremely happy. So my family, clearly, abusers want to ensure total isolation of Harry Meghan, whereby they are isolated, whereby no one wants to be around Harry Meghan, whereby nobody wants to be seen next to Harry Meghan. My family. And that's how, you know, basically, this smear campaign becomes a success. But my family, guess what? This smear campaign has been a failure. Not a success. That's why my family on TV, they're even resorting to spreading lies. You know what? But right now, even supporters want to distance themselves from Harry Meghan. Like, you know what? The Duke of Westminster is. That is choosing William and Charles to come to his wedding. My family, those are all just a bunch of lies. Created to spread a narrative that nobody wants to be seen or be around Harry Meghan. My family. And my family, you know, God is amazing. God is amazing. God is so, so amazing. Because here you are having Wikimedia lying that nobody wants to be seen with Meghan or Harry or people want to distance themselves from Harry Meghan. And then you are having the National Hockey League using a clip of Megan to promote their games, my family. 
That is what they're doing. <laughs> God is amazing. God is amazing. And no weapon formed against Harry, Meghan, Archie, and also Lily Bedana shall ever prosper my family. So my family, basically, it's all a bunch of lies created by the Wikimedia. You know? People want to be around Harry and Meghan. People want to associate with Harry and Meghan. And supporters of Harry and Meghan, my family, I will never ever stop supporting this beautiful family of Harry, Meghan, Archie, and also Lilibet and Doria Ragland. I'll always support them. My family always. Because they are amazing people. Harry is a good man because of what he has done to protect his family. He has earned all of our respects. Because of what he has done to keep Megan, Archie and Lilibet safe. My family, I hope that he never ever changes. I hope he keeps on being this amazing husband and father. A husband to Megan and a father to Archie. And also a little bit than my family. I hope that Harry keeps on being a good father and husband to Megan, you know, Archie, and also a little bit than my family. That's my hope. So my family we will always support them. Always. But Tuki Media want us to stop supporting them and to join in the hate campaign towards Harry Megan. My family. We will not. I will not. We will always support Harry Meghan. Always and forever. Always and forever and ever and ever. We will support Harry and Meghan. The Duke and the Duchess of Sussex, my family. So my family, as I've said today, I'll show you how UK media practically make stuff up and then attribute that stuff to a source from Harry Meghan. My family, please kindly, let me tell you, for my family, I discovered. For my family, I was looking at Roya Nika tweets about this so-called, you know, story about the Duke of Westminster, my family. And my family, here is what I was able to, to learn and also find out my family. Now my family, Ranika, posted this comment my family. Here's what she said. My family apparently came from Hugh Grosvenor's people. My family, here is what my family, she said. And I quote, it is incredibly sad. It has come to this. Hugh is one of very few close friends of William and Harris, who has maintained strong bonds and a line of communication with both. My family now hear this part. He wishes they could put could put their heads together and patch things up. He wanted to avoid any awkwardness. The family, that is what Ranika said. And the last part, that's what I want you to be able to note. What she said. He wishes that they could put their heads together and patch things up. And that he wanted to avoid any awkwardness. That's the language used by Ranika. Meaning that my family, what she's saying, my family, is coming from Hugh Grosvenor's people, auntie. Now, my family, right now, I want to be able to read you the words used by Daily Fail. You know, the language used by Daily Mail. 
Here is what they wrote as their LMA family. And I quote, Harry was given a save the date to Duke of Westminster's wedding, but turned the invite down and said it would be too awkward if he and Meghan attended. Sussex source insists. <laughs> My family, I want you to understand me. I want you to understand me. And look at Roya Nika's tweet. Look at Roya Nika's tweet. Her tweet reads this. The last part. He wishes, meaning Hugh Grosvenor wishes, that they, meaning William and Harry, could put their heads together and patch things up. He wanted to avoid any awkwardness. You know? Hugh Grosvenor wanted to avoid any awkwardness. My family, don't forget that the story, how it began, Ruyanika said that Harry Meghan were snubbed from the event, from the even my family, that they were not invited to the event. That's how the story began. You know? From Ranika. That's how the story began. She said that Harry Meghan weren't invited to the wedding. And that my family, the Duke of Westminster chose William and Charles. My family, he chose the farm. In my family, the language is what I want you to be able to note here. The language used by Daily Mail and the language used by Ranika. Ranika, at the last part, she said he wishes they could put their heads together and patch things up. He wanted to avoid any awkwardness, meaning the person who said this, the Duke of Westminster, his people who briefed Ranika, said to Ranika that he, the Duke of Westminster, wanted to avoid any awkwardness. And Daily Mail says the person who wants to avoid awkwardness is Prince Harry. So family, which is which? Which is which? And we do know for a fact that Prince Harry Meghan don't speak through sources. However, this source is saying that my family and that Harry said it would be too awkward if he and Meghan attended. Awkward. Awkward. The word here is awkward. Ranika uses awkward when he's speaking about what Hugh Grosvenor has said. He wanted to avoid any awkwardness. On the other hand, apparently, they are saying a source from Harry Meghan says that Harry wanted to avoid any kind of awkwardness. My family, and we all know that Harry Meghan don't speak through sources. Harry Meghan don't speak through sources. Which my family clearly means that what UK Media are doing is that they are basically First of all, creating stories about Harry Meghan. They don't report the news. They create the news. And then, my family, they claim that sources close to Harry Meghan brief them. When my family, they don't. They are using quotes sent to Ranika by Hugh Rosvena and saying that that is a source from Harry Meghan that, that comes from Harry Meghan that is what my family is happening right now that's what Roa Nika is doing my family what she's doing is quite quite disgraceful my family you know and today once again I approve to all of you that UK Media 
come up with lies that Harry and Meghan briefed them when Harry and Meghan not briefed them. Harry and Meghan not speak to Daily Mail or Murdoch owned publications. If Harry and Meghan wanted to say anything, my family, they would say something using their spokesperson and family. That's what would happen. That is what would happen. If Harry and Meghan wanted to say anything, Harry and Meghan would speak through their spokesperson and family. That is what would happen. But my family clearly, Harry and Meghan don't speak through sources. And it is shameful that Turkey media are so desperate. You know, carnival of so-called experts are so desperate to somehow speak to Harry and Meghan, mainly Harry and my family, that they're inventing stories that somehow Prince Harry, a source, briefs the media on Harry and Meghan's behalf. They are so desperate to spread this lie that somehow they have some kind of channel of communication with Prince Harry. They're so desperate to spread that lie. You know? That Harry and Meghan somehow talk to them. That they can talk to Harry and Meghan. That Harry and Meghan can brief them. With my family, Harry and Meghan don't speak to Madoc owned publications. Or wrote their own publication family. They don't. Whatever Harry and Meghan say, they say my family through their spokesperson and family. If they have to say anything, if they want to say anything, they say it themselves. Or through their spokesperson and family. So my family, it's high time. UK media, stop using a source close to Harry Meghan, a Sussex source in their headlines. Harry and Meghan don't speak to Ranika and they don't speak to any UK tabloid. They are suing tabloids. They don't speak to them. They sue them. My family. Now you tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed. I want to kindly please hear your opinion, my family. God bless Harry, Meghan, Archie, and also Libertana and Doria Baglan, and all of you members of the squad at home. He never wins, love wins, and stay tuned to our next video. My family, UK media, are desperate. So desperate to have that contact with Harry. My family, they're even inventing this lie that somehow they have a channel of communication whereby Harry, his people, brief them. My family, Harry and Meghan don't speak through sources. Once again, UK media have been caught in a lie. And they are being exposed. And they continue to be exposed. They must stop lying about Harry Meghan. Harry and Meghan want nothing to do with the toxic and racist UK club press. And they never ever whine or dine with people who abuse them. My family, Harry and Meghan would never ever do that. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you all and forever. And all these plots of like, the abusers to isolate Harry and Meghan. All of that, they've been trying to do that for seven years. More than seven years now. Next year will be the eighth year. And my family, despite all these years of trying to isolate Harry Meghan, my family abusers have not been able to succeed in isolating Harry Meghan. In destroying Harry Meghan. And my family abusers will never ever succeed. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you, always and forever, and may God bless you, my family. May God bless you all. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil. And for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zazco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. 
and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.